couple of days, we will be exploring the past, the present, and looking forward to the future. We're gonna take a breath to pause, reflect, and consider how we can proactively move forward in our ever-changing world. It's not just decarbonization, but also how do we harness the power of technology. So it's not about Gen AI only, but it is Gen AI plus, if you will, traditional AI that have to come together to really solve complex problems. So in our next session, we're going to explore with how board members maximise the impact of positive change. I'm here to talk about the role boards place in uh, driving a sustainability agenda in organisations. Being financially sustainable is not mutually exclusive with having a sustainable agenda in terms of carbon emission reduction. It is a complex topic. Uh, it's not an easy path. Um, so it needs an entire ecosystem to make things happen. It is now time to introduce you to the CEO and Managing Director of TCS. As you build the new generative AI infrastructure for your organisations, we should have the ability to integrate all of them. We need to have a full ecosystem approach so that we can benefit from the investment innovation happening everywhere. From a social licence to operate, and I think that reference to education, we've got a great opportunity to help support uh, our customers and all of New Zealand actually to better understand what's in front of them. New technologies like Gen AI can help us on that journey. So in our next panel session, we're taking C-suite technology leaders from the region. And so if we're clear on what those use cases are, that helps us go back to what is the technology solution that is the most efficient, can be done the fastest, and is cutting edge at the appropriate time. It's supposed to be hard. If it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. The hard is what makes it great. You know, as an industry, we, we still sort of start with what we can do for the consumer. And when we talk about social licence, I think there's multiple layers to social licence that we need to think about as an industry, how we tackle them together. So at TCS, we believe the business is a critical enabler for more sustainable outcomes. And we need to bring digital and innovation together to make that happen. You know, the success of the transition in energy is going to be related to data. And so, you know, you want to be with partners who can actually support that. You want to be with partners who can actually give you solutions. Used the right way, these new technologies can actually deliver a better planet, better sustainability, better work experience, and a better customer experience. I don't think I've ever been in a time where there's so much emerging technology at the moment. It also comes with enormous opportunities because we've never had the freedom to think differently about our technology and utilities the way we have now. The support that TCS gives to so many Australian businesses is an example of that. Your success is our success. We believe that each and every community we operate in, we have to contribute equally back. Every leader, every speaker and a panelist have talked about two or three themes, energy transition or decarbonisation, second is supply chain resiliency and third is the AI. Well come on up Peter Hillary. And as a team, you present yourself as a much stronger entity than perhaps you would be just on, on, on your own. I think the culture needs to come from the playing group. I truly believe you can't be what you can't see and I think that's the beauty of technology, that's the beauty of where we move sport is now is that you can see amazing, empowering, um, powerful female athletes in magazines, on TV. All change looks like a failure somewhere in the middle.